if you haven't gone and researched into the life, the philosophy, and the work of Steve Ditko, uh, the creator of Spider-Man, the creator of Doctor Strange, uh, the creator of The Creeper for DC Comics, a lot of incredible, incredible uh, innovative stuff. Uh, Static, uh, his own uh, in- independent creation is one of my favorites out there, and uh, they just republished that, so go go tr- find that and try to read it because it's awesome. Um, Ditko really fought the good fight for a long time. He He's kind of like of that era before the internet, really. And so he did it via essays that he published, uh, via letters that he he actually wrote physical letters back and forth to fans, uh, and he he really had a different way about him, which I find super commendable. And Robin Snyder and Steve Ditko were working together, publishing comics for gosh, I think since the '80s, so that makes uh, four decades. And uh, there's been a lot of complaints that people levied against Snyder and Ditko because you know Ditko is kind of the original. I'd say, you know, objectivist, Robin Snyder is a conservative, you know, that's not allowed in comic books, as you know. And (laughs) at this point, we've got a group of comics, uh, corrupt, I'd say, losers uh, who just have taken over the comic industry, turned everything into a woke political fest where they can't even tell stories anymore. They just sit there and, uh, and, uh, and cry just about their own identities. It's a, it's really the weakest generation ever. Well, they've leveled a bunch of complaints against Snyder and Ditko over the years, much like they have to our group, Comicsgate, uh, towards me, just because we're out there telling the truth, out there making our own comics without their permission, out there uh, really just being creative. Uh, and that's really what we're trying to do in the industry, rather than try to live off of like a bunch of you know dead guys' properties uh, for decades, like they've done with Batman, like they've done with Superman, like they've done with Spider-Man. Uh, it's really sad that the industry really has zero creativity to it. And uh, they do everything they can to hold independent people down. This starts with Ditko. And I'm going to show you exactly what's going on right now. And I love, love Robin Snyder's response to this. It's great stuff. And uh, always fight back, my friends. That's what I got to say. My name is John Della Rose, if you don't know me. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. I've got Overmind up right now on my pre-order store through Backerkit. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, got You can put in a credit card. You got PayPal through this. Uh, uh, Backerkit's really awesome. It's a partner with Kickstarter. And I ran my Kickstarter. We're about to go to print shortly. All the digital books have gone out to backers. And so uh, I'm excited to get this to you because everybody who's read this so far says, is the best crowdfunded book they've ever read. So uh, I think we knocked it out of the park. Please check it out. Sci-fi action adventure, 66 pages. And I've got all my other books on here too. If something strikes your fancy and you want to check it out. All right. As I said, Ditko and Snyder have been publishing books forever. It's just a blog. This is ditko.blogspot.com. This is like an old school website. And you can just see here's the 32 series of just new ideas from Steve Ditko. He's just publishing ideas. And that's what that's what he's about, an idea guy. The four-page series is just different um, different uh, sort of essays by Ditko, just a lot of them about just the corruption of the industry, the moochers in the industry, uh, the people who really don't have any talent who are just taking credit for everything. It's really sad to watch uh, when, you, when you look at the comic industry and who got promoted and who didn't. Uh, he's got his own books out there. Robin Snyder's uh, p- publishing reprints of a bunch of stuff from the 50s and 60s and 70s. Here's The Mysterious Traveler. There's some of that. And there's also some new stuff in there also. You can check it all out. Whatever, Again, whatever strikes your fancy. This is static I mentioned at the beginning of the stream. And you can see uh, you just got to email them <laughs> to get this going. Here's all their books in print. Uh, you, you email Robin Snyder. Uh, and then I think just send some PayPal to them. And uh, that's it. Uh, they send you books back. It's pretty, pretty, pretty old school in the way things are done. And, uh, you know, I support all their books when they come out because I think they're doing great work in comics and I appreciate what's being done here. So Robin Snyder addressed the haters today, which is what I'm excited about personally. And this was on Robin Snyder's Appreciation Society and Facebook. Robin writes, complaints against all odds in the face of plenty of criticism. Snyder and Ditko have been publishing for 34 years and counting. What criticism, you wonder, that our material is too expensive, difficult to find, too political, that Ditko cannot write and needs a good editor. That's false. (laughs) Our our numbering system is too confusing, that no one really cares about bibliographies of Kaniger, Newman, and Wessler. Uh, Robin Snyder publishes a uh, a, uh, newsletter called The Comics, where... Uh, where Robin actually goes over classic comic creators who have been underrepresented that people really don't remember and aren't aware of. 
uh, and goes over information on them. It's really, really good stuff. I appreciate that that's being done because we shouldn't forget comic book history. That we would be better off returning to DC Comics to produce better stories using their characters. Oof. No, you wouldn't. That we are Republicans and so forth. Anyone here remember the war? Uh, there were about 10 or more subscribers, and this is because of a, a, the war was a, um, a talk about war comics uh, from the past. Uh, and very interesting stuff. Like most of the best comics in DC, by the way, if you didn't know, in the 70s and 60s, lived off their war comics. Uh, that was what was their bread and butter. They were making big money off of that. And uh, all the top talent was on those. They, they really don't republish those, which is really sad. Uh, because of that. But anyway, uh, there were about 10 or more subscribers believing we were pro-war canceled their subscription to the comics. Now, if you know anything about Ditko and you know anything about his philosophy of objectivism, Ditko opposes using force uh, against ideas. He says that's like dumbing down of man, right? If you have good ideas, you should be able to argue them. You should be able to talk about them. You should be able to have the ideas present themselves uh, using force is a corruption of that, and that's what war is. So obviously they're not pro-war. Come on. Come on, guys. Whoever whoever complained about this. <laughs> One fellow threatened he would not order anything until we signed on with PayPal. Uh, we eventually did join that art outlet, but have not heard from the threatener. I've gotten this before, too. Uh, there's always people that go, gosh, I wish you were on this platform instead of this platform. I'm not going to back your books because they're on Kickstarter. And it's like, okay, well, uh, I opened up a backer kit. Uh, those people still don't back, right? Uh, it's Those people who do that, I don't know why. I don't know what the psychology is behind that. But they go online and uh, just seem to picket people over stuff. And they don't actually want solutions is what it comes down to. It's really sad to watch. All right. Another who has been with us for some time broke off all contact after explaining he would not support anyone who was in support of Donald Trump. Yeah, how many times have I dealt with that? <laughs> it's really sick, these people who are trying to force us uh, not to be able to make a living off of our comic books just because of how we voted. Very sad. All right. Uh, we published an editorial about Mars in one of our comics, which included ter- two paragraphs from a speech Mr. Trump gave on the Lincoln Memorial. He announced his plans to return to the moon and land on Mars. That was the moment that outraged our readers. Yeah, and th- this was a great example. Like, I mean, Trump did a lot of things in office, uh, and you can look at this. This shouldn't be a political thing left or right, but just because Trump said it, it just went psh and triggered a bunch of people. It's absolutely crazy, and that's what happens. I mean, just because I say things, people get triggered. Just because Ripa says things, people get triggered. And it's more about identity to them than the ideas, and that's actually the problem with the woke mob is it's not about the ideas. We've got great ideas coming and uh, we've got great ideas and great creativity out of our movement. Uh, and they refuse to look at them just because of who we are. It's very sad. Some have suggested uh, we really ought to outright publish through Fantagraphics, Image, or Marvel because no one will pay attention to us otherwise. Uh, those are some interesting corporations. Or we should produce a regular schedule like Marvel and feature more popular writers and artists. Otherwise, we will never be taken seriously. What a, what a concern trolling is that? Gosh. And others still are upset that they believe our political beliefs are or our so-called Randian beliefs and do not want to support that, uh, upset with what they believe about that, and do not want to support us in any way. Some of these folks simply dropped away while others left complaining that it is not right. Fans have to subscribe to or purchase back issues of a publication they do not like. One ex-subscriber bragged that it was much easier to ask a friend to make a copy of one of our articles or newsletters, and we can't stop him. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's evil right there. That's called piracy, all right? How are we doing? Well, we've been publishing longer now than all the years we were at Archie, Fantagraphics, Marvel, and Western Comics together. So they've been having the longevity. Uh, Robin Snyder and Stevie Co. I mean, they're really not, not top-tier marketers in this space. They really aren't. Uh, but what they've done is they've just continually produced product that they believe in over and over and over again. And it's a very commendable thing. And I wish more people would find out about it. That's part of what I do on the channel is I actually talk about things like this so that you can find it. uh, Because these awesome cultural alternatives to Marvel and DC, to the corporate comics, to the woke, to the moochers, to the uh, terrible fan fiction writers at those companies uh, exist. And they've been around for a while. And Ditko's been doing it before all of us. Uh, because he kind of was doing it without the space of the internet. He really didn't get that groundswell that a lot of us are getting now. And uh, I really find that tragic. And I really want more people to discover his work uh, because I think he was doing great work. He was making interesting philosophy that is something to think about, like real thought. 
uh, something that a lot of comics don't have. And uh, I really appreciate what Robin Snyder's done over the years uh, in that regard also. So good stuff. Uh, this is fantastic. Notice Robin's not playing victim. Notice Robin's not saying, woe is me. Robin's saying, you know what? We're doing it. I'm, I'm succeeding in this. I'm making a living out of comics and nobody can stop me. And that's it. And I love that message. That's true. That's how I feel. That's how this movement feels. And we will win, my friends. It's awesome to hear. Uh, support Robin Snyder. Support Steve Ditko. Uh, in in uh, you know, obviously he's uh, no longer with us, but uh, in spirit. <laughs> and uh, hit the like and subscribe button, everybody. Let me know what you think about this down below. These are the types of stories I try to bring because nobody else talks about them on YouTube. And I'm hoping that you know we can just get the word out there for some cool stuff. I appreciate you being there. Thanks again. See you.